here with Athena. Um, I'm having a lovely cat day today and uh, this little lady has been once before and her mum was really worried that uh, she was going to kick off big time and she was fantastic. She's very calm and I also uh, sent her home with a little um, a calming um, wipe attached to her crate so that she'd be nice and calm on the way home and her mum bought some because she was that impressed how she was that calm when she come home so um yeah but she's she's a lovely cat she's a lovely cat aren't you she is so i'm going to give her um sort of a maintenance groove so i'm going to go through with a fine tooth comb and remove any dead coat um and that'll help her um, to stay pretty much, uh, well it'll help her to stay not free. Um, she hasn't though, having a feel, um, having a feel and it's just a bit thick so there's just some dead coat building up there so yeah so I'll show crack up like to I don't bath every cat um, like I do the dogs because they just their nature is so that it, you can stress them out quite um, easily they don't have the same tolerance as a dog so I always base it up on the cat uh, so I'll get to know them first and if I think I might be able to do the bath as well then I'll, I'll give it a go but um, if at all possible I don't um, I don't like to stress them out and bath them unnecessarily. That is just the the way. Um, that's just the way I feel, and I've done that for years. Um, some cats uh, take to it no problem. Um, others just stress, and if they've got an underlying medical condition, we don't want to be adding extra stress. So, uh, so I'm going to go through with my combs again. So I'm going to start with my wide one. Um, I'm going to go with my second wide down, then this one, then this one, and then I'm going to follow up with my banded comb. Um, so this will uh, loosen up to start with, and then we'll gradually take it down um, to a finer tooth. Um, I start at the top because that's always the place that they um, they like to be touched at home. You know, you like to be tickled on their face. And I'm not sure if you can see this here, um, but you can see along here. I don't know if you can see. I put my hand there. Can you see that hair? Um, literally, this is hair that's got to the end of its life um, and sometimes that's quite hard to remove uh, with a comb or a banded comb even because it's just hanging on. So I just pull, just take it down with my fingers gently and there it is. And they quite like it. Some do. Good girl. I'll take everything slow and steady with the cat, see? You can see it's dead because it's very soft and fluffy. And I'll comb it up there. Lift it up. And I can see a bit more there. Good girl. And this is the stuff that they lick into their mouth. Uh, it's just hanging on. Basically. And it's hard to reach for them. They ended up with it stuck in their mouth. And uh, they get fur balls. But that's all I've done is just gently removed that hair. Uh, 
this fluffy stuff here. So that was Athena. So I'm here with Dolly. Doesn't she have the most amazing eyes? Ooh, she's a good girl. So she's actually a British short haired, but she's long. So she just has a, a good uh, maintenance groom. So it's literally, um, you know, 30, 40 minutes to get as much dead coat out as possible. Uh, trim her feet and her nails. And that's Dolly done, pretty much. Um, she's very cute, isn't she? Oh, yes. I like to give them a little bit of a cuddle and a massage before we start to get them all happy and they're in the right zone, don't we? Yes. She's lovely. So I just thought to show you here, you can see the difference. You can see the nice dark colour here and this here, fluffy stuff, is the dead stuff. So we just pull that away like that. And then what you'll start seeing is a nice, see the nice dark colour coming through. And it's this fluffy stuff that knots up and they get it into their mouth. So you can see that it's almost looks like it's trimmed, but I've not had to trim it. You can just see there. I quite like it. So, there she is. <laughs> I'll make another cat out of her. <laughs> so as part of my groom, I like to clean their eyes and their ears. Um, as long as they're willing. <laughs> uh, I've just got some um, pretty eyes, um, which is for all animals. Just to clean any muck that might be there. eyes and then I just have some um, vet air cleaner uh, which is for all around animals you can even use it on horses uh, so we just put a little bit on and I just turn the air around and just give it a little bit of a wipe Ooh. So just around slightly as I but not down the ear canal um, and also in doing this if I see any any kind of uh, thing that's not quite right any gooiness or scratches or red I'll always mention it to the owners so they can keep an eye on it or if it's something really bad like an ear infection um, ear mites or whatever or they might need some vet treatment Obviously, I uh, cannot uh, diagnose, but I can. Ooh, I can mention if uh, you know if 
I notice something that's I've noticed something during the groom, you know, it could be a lump or a bump or something that I've found. Uh, ooh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I quite like it. So now I've got little Poppy. She's a blue cream Persian and she is beautiful natured. She's so lovely to groom. I've done her feet, I've done her nails um, and I've just given her face a bit of a clean. I'm having a busy cat day. So I'm going to just um, give her ears a bit of a clean. Have a look inside them ears. Oh, a bit mucky. Oh, yeah, they need doing. Oh, <laughs> so there's all Poppy done. She's a beautiful girl, aren't you? All done. So this is Poppy's sister, this is Phoebe, and she is a chinchilla Persian. Um, what I do find with chinchilla Persians is they carry the angry gene. And sometimes they can be a little bit grumpy. So we do keep her short, uh, so it's easier for a mum to keep on top of her. She has had um, a lion trim before, um, so I've let the lion trim grow out slightly and we just keep her. It's a nice, short, manageable length. I just keep it scissored short so it doesn't get too long um, and her mum then can't cope and she gets knotted because she isn't the, the best cat in the world to groom. She is a bit grumpy. Um, we've done some emergency baths in the in the past and she was okay with those. Um, but she had her as a rescue, so um, she hasn't had her as a kitten. So I'm going to do her feet and I'm going to clean her eyes and her ears, trim her nails and just scissor her down shorter. So I like to do her nails first. Um, and we... We keep them nice and short because she is an, an indoor cat and um, they're not scratching their nails the same as they would if they were going outside. Um, and what you tend to find is that they they get quite long and very pointy and when they're walking around on the carpet they can sometimes get stuck. Um, so it's just management and then I trim trim her little feet. Um, she doesn't uh, mind the mini trimmers and she's quite calm when I'm trimming her feet so I like to scissor them and I find it quicker and I can get a nice shape on the top of her foot there. And it just helps when she's going in the cat tray to stop any debris, cat litter getting stuck on her nails. So what I've done with the little Phoebe here is um, as the, the lion trim has grown out, I've just I've carried on tailoring it. 
So when it grows to a certain length, I just take off all the ends. So it's staying pretty short, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, I have scissored, um, scissored anything long off there. Um, so you can see it's all nice and uh, all nice and neat around the bottom. Uh, she isn't a big fan of being groomed. Nice, really. But she is very tolerant with me. She is. She's wagging her tail now. I hate this woman. No, she's very good with me. Um, my mum struggles, so we just keep you a, a, an easy length to, to brush through, to keep loose. When it gets long, it gets harder to to maintain so that's the why we're keeping it down so i've now scissored her all over done her feet and her nails and her... oh <laughs> see what i mean she's got to have the last say so um we're just going to give her little face a clean um yeah, sweetheart i've done one one eye just going to clean the other one see needs to we need to clean it, don't we, to keep keep it nice for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good girl. There we go. There we are, sweet pea. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I just try not overhandle her so she doesn't get cheesed off with me. Uh, she's a good girl. Hey, good girl. No need to grumble, is there? Hey, Yeah. Give her a little bit of a stroke there. Make friends again. So we just cat grooming, we keep calm. Uh, I've got the pet remedy on. I've got, I do have my lovely calm spray from uh, Avita Canis. They do a cat one and a dog one. Uh, so I always have this spraying around as well. Just keep everything nice and calm and chilled. Um, yeah, so that's, that's Phoebe done. Here is Binks, my lovely friend, who I love so much. He's so lovely, look at him. So um, he's a long-haired exotic, aren't you? Beautiful. Um, yeah, so he just has a really good groom through. Um, get rid of all your, your dead coat, don't we? And we trim your bum. And your feet and your nails. Ooh, such a good job. So, Binks is all gone. His mum turned up, so I couldn't show you the outcome, but there is his hair. So, uh, I'm not sure if the next one's going to turn up because I've never got a confirmation email. Um, so I shall be having a break if not and then we have some more cats so this is lovely Rita <laughs> and she comes uh, approximately about every eight weeks just for a regular maintenance groom feet trim nails um, and I've just got that out so far I'm gonna go through my cones with her and give her a really good groom out but she's very placid, aren't you? She's beautiful. So here's Rita all done, and there's all her hair. And I'd much rather do a quick maintenance groom, um, you know, 30 minutes, and it keeps them in tip top condition, and they feel beautiful.
It's very good for their well-being. So here's Pearl. This is her sister. Not her actual sister, but she lives with her. So we're going to give you a good groom through, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> so here's Pearl. A lot less hairy. And here is the rest of her. <laughs> so I'm just waiting on my last cat. Obviously, there, those are two cats from the same family. They're both Persians. That was Rita's fur. And this was Pearl's. Yeah. So, um, anybody wants to know, um, do long-haired cats need grooming on a regular basis? The answer is yes. And that is from eight weeks of hair. So you can imagine um, if they're not looked after and um, it would get matted and um, it would have to be clipped off. So uh, to keep them all nice and tip top, uh, booking in regularly with your cat groomer is definitely the way to go. It can be very costly having your cat shaved at the vets because they generally put them under anaesthetic, uh, sedate, they sedate them. So, um, and obviously as groomers, we don't, we don't do that. So uh, take them as a kitten um, get find a cat groomer. You've got a long haired cat, you know, they do groom themselves to a certain uh, point, but um, you know, it soon gets out of hand. And if they haven't had that um, contact with the groomers at a different place, sometimes when they do need it, it's sort of a few years down the line and uh, it's a lot more difficult for them. And then you could be looking at the vets, which is gonna be, you know, costly. So I would definitely recommend if you've got a long haired cat, don't struggle, get yourself a cat groomer. So uh, I didn't get a chance to show you that cat, but it's a pretty short haired, pretty short haired. Look at all that. <laughs>